Cubs. Swing, there's a fly ball, deep left field. That's way back there. It's at the wall. It's up, up. It is gone. I don't know what else this land could have been used for any better than this. Just look at the apartment buildings going up now around here. And some of these, we've made it happen with the Knights. And they've taken the first two in this four-game series. It's rewarding now to see it fulfill what we had hoped. Uh, a ballpark that in its inaugural season had 687,000 guests. That's produced $650 million of new development uh, adjacent to it and, and to Ramir Bearden Park. Over a thousand units of housing. And that's just the beginning. It was over 30 acres of surface lots and underutilized buildings and really a low tax base. And now it's the heart of one of the best neighborhoods in North Carolina. Campaigns to build an uptown stadium began an uphill battle more than a decade ago. But Knights owner Don Beaver and COO Dan Rakowski, along with Michael Smith from Charlotte's Center City Partners, wouldn't take no for an answer. It was worth fighting for. And it was that purity of purpose that had us stick to it for seven years and through seven lawsuits. Purity of purpose, baseball, family entertainment. I played all the leagues, the Little League, the Pony League, the Bay Bridge League, American Legion High School, and that's all we did is play baseball back then. I, <laughs> I'll show you my knuckleball grip. <laughs> there you go. It's a great thing to follow, and uh, I, I think we need to get more of the youth back into baseball. It's a lasting legacy. I don't know what's next. I think just to keep the momentum going in downtown Charlotte. So, you know, we just keep on keeping on. Congratulations, Don Beaver, Dan Rakowski, and Michael Smith, 2015 Counselors of Real Estate Creative Thinkers.